Hello guys, this is Joe from Try Hard Turtle. In the background you'll see it's just a normal FIFA Seasons game, but that doesn't really matter. Today I'm going to be talking about um, the next gen consoles, which one I think you should get and which one I'm going to get. So obviously the next gen consoles are the Xbox One and the PS4 made by Microsoft and Sony. And um, obviously, well not obviously, but in my opinion the Xbox 360 won this generation, um, whereas the PS2 won the previous one. So it's kind of even this one all, if if you will. Um, and the next gen, it is looking quite exciting because they're both mm, kind of similar. Uh, I mean, I've I watched the Xbox um, reveal, Xbox One reveal, and I watched the Sony reveal, uh, the E3 ones, and. Uh, I thought I thought that the Sony one was just a bit better than the Xbox one, and I say this because Xbox kind of I don't know they kind of dug themselves a big too too much of a big hole to get out of, especially with the whole like I think their big mistake was the whole pre-owned game thing. That is what everyone's going mental about. Um, and PS4 obviously uh, didn't say anything about it. They might have been planning to do it, but now they thought, okay, now we could just fuck over Xbox and say, yeah, well, you can have pre-owned games. You can give your games to your friends. We don't give a shit. So now Xbox are fucked, and yeah. So <laughs> um, I thought I saw that advert where it's um, where the guy goes, um, this is how you. <laughs> Share games with your friends on the PS4. He goes step one. He just gives it to his friend. He goes thanks. I thought that was quite a funny little dig at Xbox. But um, yeah, normally I'm I'm Xbox all the way. Uh, cause I had a, the original Xbox. I had the Xbox 360. Um, I did have a PS3 as well. Um, but I don't know. Like, I do like the um games for Xbox. Is it games for Gold or something like that? We get two games for free. I think they're tr trying to do that to reel in some more customers, and um, the exclusives on the Xbox One do look a lot better, such as uh, Dead Rising and obviously Halo. Whereas on the PS4, um, you don't really have many good exclusive games. Um, <clears throat> they have Warframe, which I played on the PC. I also recorded. I might put it up, but I didn't th think much of it. So, I don't know. It's it's kind of even. Um, I'm gonna have to put a picture up here. Uh, if you can see it. Um, sorry if it gets in the way of the game. I'm just gonna read out some some of the comparisons. Just say what I think. So the um, price. Obviously, it says unconfirmed on the PS4, but it now has been confirmed that is going to be three hundred and fifty pounds on the PS4, whereas the Xbox One is four hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Now, this is probably one of the biggest factors as well when it comes to which console you're going to buy because a lot of people bought the Xbox 360 because it was cheaper than the PS3 and now this is what, 70 dollars, 70 pounds, why did I say dollars, 70 pounds more than the PS4 which is ridiculous really and how does that work, look, 499 dollars, 429 pounds how does that, that doesn't work really does it, like, I don't know, apparently it's something to do with the tax, but, yeah, so, obviously PS4 win on the price there, uh, the hardware, you can see um, the AMD Jaguar X86 8 core, which, I have no idea what that means, but, they're the same, so, obviously better, um, again, GPU, have no idea what that means, but they're pretty much the same, I'm guessing 1152 is better than 768, so, PS4 wins there. Uh, RAM is obviously memory. PS4 has 8 gigabyte. Uh, it says that it's unconfirmed, but um, 7 gigabytes is for gaming, and the 1 gigabyte is for like the software. <coughs> um, also, Xbox One has 8 gigabytes, but then they have all this like cloud and stuff, so obviously it's going to be more. PS4 have also said that they're going to be. 
um, you can upgrade your hard drive, so that's pretty good. Um, hard drive is unconfirmed on PS4. I think they did say how much it would be. I can't remember why it was off the top of my head, sorry about that. And Xbox One is 500 gigabytes hard drive, which is pretty amazing to be honest. I mean, I've got 200 or 250 on my slim Xbox, and that is more than enough. Uh, optical media, Blu ray, DVD, both the same. That was something that PS3 had that Xbox didn't, but now Xbox are. Uh, have the same obviously now. Um, signal display, uh, 1080p. Everyone wants to get the best, uh, best possible quality. 1080p is the best uh, that HDMI can do, I think. Um, audio, unconfirmed. I can't really say anything about the audio. Um, controllers. Um, the, in my opinion, the Xbox 360 controller was absolutely perfect. Uh, don't know why they've changed it, but to be honest, it doesn't look much different to the Xbox 360 controller. It's just got a little bit on the top, and the PS4. Uh, I don't know. I don't like the PS3 controllers at all. The thumbsticks are too loose, and they're too close together, and it's just more of a flimsy controller. Whereas the Xbox One, you can really get your hands around it. So um, I think Xbox went there. Uh, obviously, they have the Kinect thing, which people were very upset about it having to always be on, so it's like the camera is just watching you, and it's just a bit weird, but um, I don't really care, I've got a camera on my laptop that I don't cover up, people might watch me, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. Um, obviously they have the uh, smart glass as well, which I have, I use in my Xbox 360, it's very, very useful, and PlayStation have PlayStation app, I have no idea what that is. Um, the software, here we go. Dual OS, um, which is dual operating system. Apparently, um, a, a lot of the memory on the Xbox is going to be taken up by the operating system, and people reckon it's going to be slow, but I don't think so. I'd, the Xbox 360 has been shown to be a really, really fast machine, so I don't think it's going to be that slow, but people are saying the amount of operating systems that are on the Xbox is going to slow it down and the PlayStation 4 just has the normal one, just the normal one, so it should be quite fast as well. Uh, multimedia is all the same. Uh, use game policy, obviously we talked about that. The um, Xbox, well it says free here, but um, I think there was something about um, you have to download it onto your Xbox One and then that is your game. Uh, you can also uh, trade it in and then they'll get another code for it to be downloaded but you can't share it with your friends it has to be you can only trade it in um, at stores so you can't like sell it on ebay or anything which is not that good because you get more money from ebay normally <coughs> xbox live obviously online service is a lot better than the playstation network i really like xbox live but um, apparently playstation network are going to start charging so that's good in my opinion, I mean, that was the only thing that they had over us, but it, it was kind of a shit service that they got, so now they can definitely like maintain their uh, online service now that they start to charge for it, and obviously online stores are the same, and Xbox will be getting rid of Microsoft points, which I thought were really pointless, and they're just going to use normal currency, which is very good. Um, uh, that's all rubbish and that's there's, here's the exclusives I'll just leave that up there for you um, that's all the exclusive games um, obviously you can see the Xbox exclusives are, <coughs> are a lot better than the PS4 ones and there's a lot more as well like you got Dead Rising 3 uh, Forza people like that Halo Killer Instinct is um, looks pretty good Rise Son of Rome that looks pretty good and obviously you got Minecraft and all that, which are all very good. And Crimson Dragon, which looks quite good. Whereas on the PS4, you have Killzone, which I'm not a big fan of. Don't know any of those <laughs> games deep down and all that. And then you've got uh, like Warframe, Planet Side, all these uh, games that are from the PC. That plan I don't know, I didn't really like them. So um, now I've shown you all the uh, comparisons, you could probably make your own mind up what you want to get. 
Personally, I'm probably going to get the PS4 because I'm quite poor and I'm <laughs> I can't afford the Xbox One. I really want to get the Xbox One though because I really like the um, Twitch integration uh, where you can just say Xbox live stream and it'll literally just live stream what you're playing straight onto Twitch, which I thought was great. Uh, massive move for Twitch and. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I might actually end up getting both, like, if I get a job or something, or if my YouTube career lifts off. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Joe from Tribe Turtle. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.